Everybody, what's going on? We're out today. Um, me, Doug, Steve Shepard, and we're at the Hillary House here in Aurora. So I'm gonna give you a little tour. Um, this place is, I think, 1862. It's a bit chilly today, um, but otherwise it's gonna be nice for metal detecting. It's better, better than rain and snow, so. But I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna show you a view, and then we're just gonna get to digging, so. Hold on. So here is the front entrance. Nice little place. There's lots of land here. Can't dig here because this is a tennis court. Sorry about the poo car. You know, guys in their cars. So there's lots of land. Look at all this to do. So this is pretty cool. My guess has been graded a little bit because of the roots of the trees, but not so much. But no, oh, that's a good sign right here. If you look, if you're new to melee tech, look for this kind of stuff too, because the grade hasn't changed too much. So over here, it's a big place. You got a little barn area over here. Doug's over by the barn. We got Steve right here, looking at his first target. Man in action. Well, you find gold? Uh, here. What is it? It's got teeth on the end of it. Oh, nice. From a watch or something? You're on the board. Nice. All right, I'm going to get digging. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the side of the uh, Hillary House here, and I got my first target of the day, and I got myself a buckle. That's pretty cool. That is time frame for the house, and uh, the one thing I've noticed about the ground here is that it seems to be filled in a little bit, so there's a lot of the nice black soil, but there are parts that has the... Uh, that has the clay in it so that's a good sign as well so that's pretty cool my first find i'm gonna go over and show steve and uh, i'm gonna check out how they're doing actually i'm gonna show you steve he's over swinging right now so here we go looking for treasures he's a swinging <laughs> oh maybe he has something maybe Steve, he's got a pretty cool find. He found a fish for fishing season coming up. So I'll zoom in on it. How far down was it? Uh, it, it was fairly deep. It was uh, about 10 inches, I'd say, 10 or 11 inches. inches yeah, yeah I've, I've noticed here that it might have been filled in a bit because of the nice soil. I don't know, are you seeing a good soil? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a bit of pottery in there too. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try down here. Okay. <laughs> All over down here, so. That's pretty cool. What did it ring up as on the knocks? What's the way? 25, 28, 29. Yeah, it's some gun size 30. Nice. It's got the small coil on. That is a small coil. <laughs> <laughs> not, as, not as small as the uh, hockey puck you have in your, in your gallet. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, good coil. find. That's awesome. Yeah. Alright, Steve has found a compact that belonged to a woman, it appears. I don't know if we're going to open it, but... That is pretty cool. Yeah, looks like it's been in the ground a while. Yeah. See, curiosity would get me. I would have to just open it up. <laughs> That's cool. Good find. Okay, so I'm working my way down and I came across another relic. It's a big old buckle. The thing is huge. So I'm guessing it's about three inches, four inches. That's pretty cool. So I've hit some clay and I've been getting good luck. So I'm not gonna jinx it right now. So I'm just gonna say I'm gonna keep on going, searching for cool stuff like this. Steve's over there, he's having a hoot finding buckles and everything so 
That's pretty cool. All right, I think the game that we're playing today is not melee technically, but how many buckles we can find. So there's another buckle. So that's pretty good, it's smaller, pretty cool. Can't complain. So three different size buckles. No coins yet. I'm surprised, but the relics are here. The relics are here. Okay, I think I have silver in the hole. Kind of don't want to. Yeah, if you can spread it out for me. Please be 1800s. We're good there. Oh, it's modern. No, it's silver, but it's not an old silver. There we go, 1950, I think. Yep. 1950, it's silver, but. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought it was going to be 1800s. I'm hoping, but that's pretty cool. First coin of the day for me, and it's a silver. So, right on. <laughs> so I just made my find of the day. I called a relic, it's pretty cool. Um, as mentioned before, we're at the Hillary House, and uh, so I just found a little plate with the name Miss Norman Hillary, Bell River Road, Woods, Woodsley, Ontario. So that is cool. Let's see if I can get it for you. So that's awesome. I'm going to give it to Steve and we're going to give it to the people that have this place here and they can have it because it has the name of the person on it. So these are the type of finds that we love finding and uh, silver's good, relics are good too, but something linked to the house that we're at, that is perfect, that's awesome. And this here is what we look for. So that's wicked. Steve there still swinging and I just got a find. Don't know what it is, but it is sterling, RB sterling. Steve thinks it might be part of a pipe. I don't know. But if you guys might know exactly what it might be or think you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. That's pretty cool. All right, sorry about the wind, but uh, stream close up. That's pretty cool. It's rounded. I don't know. Is this a uh, for your hair, for your shoe? What could it be? But it's pretty. Let me get a better view here. That's pretty cool. Relics. We love the relics. So tummy, hair, shoe, buckle. I'll leave this one up to you. I had an amazing day today. It was pretty cool. It was exciting and uh, I had fun. I can't complain. This is awesome. I love getting out metal detecting. Steve's an awesome guy. If you guys don't know Steve Shepard, look him up. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. And uh, yeah, I just had fun. So it's always fun. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. And uh, well, I can't forget my trusty, my bag. I got my, my little bag. So, okay, I'm out of here. You guys take care. Have fun getting the goods. And I'll talk to you again. All right, cheers out.